you want to finance it? And I said, sure. Nice, 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 nice. You know? So, so, so the, the name of the title is Diamond in the Rough. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us just a little bit about what the plot is or what the storyline is about? So it's basically about a girl. Her name is Michelle. She's a, she's a young teen. Um, her family has struggled with issues of PTSD, homelessness, substance abuse, physical abuse, okay. mm -hmm. everything you can name. And yeah. um, she basically goes out into the world and she realizes that she's not just, you know, enough for her, but she's, you know, she's enough for love. She's enough for life. She's enough for everything, you know, yeah. and the one person that taught her that is her grandmother. Mm -hmm. And her grandmother instills those principles and, you know, um, values of life into her. And mm -hmm. she, she, you know, basically becomes like her grandmother at the end. Basically, she becomes a person who wants to help, who wants to do more and okay. believes in herself enough to be able to do that. So right. um, it's really how the family comes together because, you know, the, the father comes together, the mother comes together. You know, we, we try to make it as realistic and as happy as possible. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And I mean, who couldn't use some more happiness in the world, right? We, we yeah. need that. There's so much. And she, and she gets all of that from her faith, of course. From her know? faith. Yeah, that's yeah. a good place to get it. You know, yeah. joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So yeah, it's definitely absolutely. a great, great, great concept. Can you tell us some of the challenges that you had besides the financing and, and producing the film and getting it made? <laughs> uh, there are so many, I can't even <laughs> go into them. Um, yeah, so uh, the day of shooting, um, you know, any film or any experience that you have as a producer, mm -hmm. uh, you you go through, you know, many different stages of the film, right. you know, right. and uh, writing the film and, you know, producing the film and shooting the film, you know, and um, we had a crew that was, um, you know, they were good, but um, the main crew were awesome, but the other crew, we had a crew and they... They just, they needed more leadership. They needed more direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, when we got there, my wife and I, my wife and I had been on sets and we looked at each other and we said, you know, do you want to take this over? And we said, yes, because we had to, because we had a lot of people that were, you know, not happy and ready to, wow. like, you know, basically walk off. You know, my wife and I took over and um, we really did everything that the film needed we stepped up my wife's amazing i mean she stepped up and controlled awesome. everything she, she led and directed everybody and nice everyone listened and she's amazing and you know i couldn't have done it without her we we couldn't have done the film couldn't have been made without her you know she's awesome. the one who gave the okay for the financing and then she's the one who took the film under her wing and really just you know did what she did that is awesome that's awesome that yeah. you guys work together as a team that's yeah. wonderful so how, how did the casting go for it? Um, did you know did you know the the lead actress or how did you find the lead? So we um so there's uh, my business partners in Colorado they really handled all of that. Um, oh, okay. They um they found the, they uh, and then they you know obviously had me on Zoom. <laughs> on right. Zoom and, and you know and um what's the other one called? Uh, Google Hangouts. Other, uh, yeah, the other Hangout. Yeah. I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah whatever but we were on that mm -hmm. um for a lot and uh we watched all these different tapes and then this one girl her name is Aaliyah Leah Shumpert and she plays Michelle mm -hmm. and she sent us a tape and she just really really embodied the part yeah you know physically mentally you know just emotionally she just grounded herself as Michelle and I think because of her life experiences and because of her you know um just zest for life and wanting to do better. And she really embodied Michelle and she was able to really take on that part of Michelle. Yeah. And, you know, she was amazing. We loved her. Nice. Nice. Diamond the Rough, um, the lead, not the lead actor, but um, Clifton Powell plays the preacher. Okay. Nice. He's amazing. Um, yeah. If you've seen the film, like he's, he's incredible. You'll recognize him. He's, you know, he's on the poster and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, he's, um, you know, he's been in acting for over, 200 300 films he he played pinky on friday on uh, next friday with uh, ice cube and yes, you know, yes everyone yes, so he's, yes, he's amazing awesome. and um so how, how now was it difficult for you to well all your did your business partners handle that as well getting no actually my, myself and uh my business we both did we both we knew him from la we both lived in la okay nice ago. yeah a couple yeah. Of years like years ago and uh uh -huh. you know we 
knew him in LA and um, mm-hmm. he, my business partner actually, you know, he worked on a, a movie with my business partner's uh, friend and then okay. we connected together and um, yeah, we were able to really solidify him and he's, he's been a big part in it. He's 100% supports the film. Nice. Um, he 100% is, you know, our cheerleader for the film yeah. and everything. So he's, he's, he's really incredible. He's an incredible guy. He's awesome. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So when do you think, um, when you, is there going to be like a, a sequel to the film or is it just? Um, I don't think there should be a sequel to the film. I think okay. what there's going to be though is probably maybe um, a web series or a, okay. nice. or a TV I can spin show off. or maybe, maybe a you know, television pitch um, about the film and about mm-hmm. the, the family. Cause you know, it's a family that, uh, you know, it's a military family that struggles with PTSD. Yeah. And, you know, there's so many out there right now that oh, yeah. are, yeah. you know, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a really good film, which is not too happy. It's not too, it's realistic, you know? Yeah. And that's, and, and that's how life is sometimes. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like this, you know what I mean? So it, and that's what the film is. You know, we try yeah. to do as best as we can for the characters yeah. to have all of them have like, um, you know, all of them be able to, have a character arc you know and come back mm-hmm. together you know and have a happy not a happy ending but you know a good ending for each yeah. other and yeah. you know so we did as, as much as we can but then we wanted to keep it realistic and authentic as well good good you know we had a great time making it yeah um you know we're excited um to have it in you know all these film festivals and everything and i think it's a great like That's i said I, I think it's a great film because it has a great message yeah you know um and it has a great meaning to it you know yeah. and unfortunately some you know faith-based films are hard to get off the ground and stuff because of you know if they don't have the talent they don't have the a-listers or they don't have the b-listers in it you know but right. the message i feel of diamond in the rough really sets it apart yeah from a lot of different films and i and i think you'll see that when you watch it awesome 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 yeah. well i'm certainly looking forward to it i'm looking forward to the message like i said the title grip me I was Thank like, you. I gotta talk to this guy <laughs> because I know a lot of people, me personally, there's been times in my life where I actually felt like the diamond in the rough, you know what yeah. I mean? So, um, yeah. but yeah, congratulations again on completing a great film. And like I said, I wish you the best of, of success with that. Thank you, I, I really appreciate it. Um, I got my I am 365 days. I know, that's <laughs> awesome, I like that. yeah. That's really cool. I um, like they, you can actually purchase these at the Inspired Faith Film Festival uh, website as well. Okay. But I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun time.